we're here with you and with some breaking news, unfortunately. Shots have been fired at a Trump rally in Pennsylvania. It appears that Donald Trump has ducked down uh, behind a screen and when he's emerged, there is blood on his ear. We don't know if he's been shot. We just, that's all we can tell you. So there have been major concerns about the security surrounding Donald Trump's rallies. You will be aware that rather than having very secured small events that presidents have done in the past, he tends to have these rather larger events. Now, US Secret Service are famous for being some of the most professional security services in the world. However, the United States of America does allow guns, uh, not of course, in presidential rallies. What is unclear? from the footage is whether the injury to Donald Trump was caused by gunfire or whether it was caused by uh, him falling to the floor. One thing that we do know from the United States Secret Service is that the lectern itself is a bulletproof a facility that can be used and he dropped to the floor when he was warned to do it. He did emerge from behind it and he was then surrounded by his security guards to which he fist bumped the air. So he, you know, he's well enough to stand And, 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 and I do air. think it is absolutely important to say to you that there is no question that Donald Trump has been fatally injured. There's no question that uh, there is anything other than a very, very nasty incident that's taken place. We're unsure yep. as to whether the we injury... We can tell sustained. you there, is definite, there was definitely blood on his ear um, and shots were fired and he did have crowd, unfortunately, behind him. This crowd stood behind him, which also is concerning. I'll, I'll also say that we have seen footage in talk of him being put into his motorcade. Also, to be fair, he was stood up. Uh, he fist bumped, as you said. Yep. Uh, we did see some he blood did coming from his ear. He looked dishevelled and he had blood on his ear. But I he did I, stand up with his security team around him. And, and I want to I wanna ask all of you now about the hatred that exists in politics, about this whole thing about Nigel Farage, milkshakes being thrown all over people. You know, we don't think that Donald Trump is going to die tonight, but what we do think is that the behaviour of people towards politicians is unacceptable. You know, if you come face to face with a politician that you disagree with, just argue with them, say you don't agree with them. I have to say, this incident is a reminder, Danielle, as the Nigel Farage makeup in, uh, make, milkshake incident is a reminder that some people don't want to do democracy. They want to do violence. Mm. It's a shame because I think, I, I do feel that people are being pushed to the limit. And I think when people feel that they're not being represented or heard, then you will find that people will make extreme decisions, which is obviously outrageous. Um, but yeah, it's not, um, interestingly enough, obviously this is politics and we do happen to have someone in politics in the studio with us this evening. Um, I'm just going to throw to you, Finn. He's been, he's, so, I'm, I'm sorry. Finn Dan, Adams, Danielle, Danielle, this if you look, is, this Danielle, is if, Danielle, if you look at that footage, oh. I'm sure he's been hit. You don't know. Uh, he's OK. He's OK, no, but I'm sure. No, you can't say that. We can say for sure. Well, this is... Well, uh, apologies. We can say that he's Apo been shot at. Apolo we can apologies. Say that he has blood this on is his my ear. opinion. This is my opinion. But it's it's very clear to me that he's been hit. That's my opinion. That's his opinion. Um, yeah, that's... that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so because... Because you're legally obliged not you to don't, say. Well, yeah, because we don't know. And he and that's obviously why you're here. instantly that the instantly that the shots were fired, Donald wanna, Trump oh, do, do has know, instantly ducked down behind the barrier. Dan, which, as Dan, you say, Dan, is Daniel, Daniel, here's what I want he to say. He could have injured himself. Here's what I want to say. Donald Trump is clearly alive. Donald Trump has got into his station well, wagon. As shots were no, fired, no, he he yeah, did put his hand to his ear. Forget all that. Forget 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 all that. Donald Trump is clearly alive. Donald Trump is clearly in his station wagon. But here's the phone call and discussion that I want to have with you. Why have we become so hate-filled? Why is politics... You know, when I was a little kid, all we would do is argue over a dinner table. I honestly Guns believe... and bloody throwing... Yeah, but I honestly believe that if people feel like they're not being heard, then well, unfortunately... No, I'm not justifying it. I'm just saying, you're asking me why. 
And I think it's because people must feel like they're not being heard or represented. OK, so... And that sends people to make so, do so, stupid things. OK, so you've heard this. Oh, three, four, 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 nine, nine, one thousand. That's why I'm glad we don't live in a country where you can have a gun. Well, no, it's I'm just it, saying. But that's not what you said, Danielle. What you said was, in 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 these circumstances of a lack of democracy, people will turn to violence. Now, I understand why you've said that, and I think it's a reasonable comment to make. But how can we return democracy to these countries? How can we ensure that we don't end up in a situation where violence takes place? And and do you know do you know something about this? Doesn't this link back? to what we were talking about at the beginning, about the fact that government is so distant from ordinary people, mm. where a minor infraction ends up that you have your life destroyed. You know, what are we going to find out about this gunman? We're going to find out that he was part of a group of people who feel disenfranchised.